The COVID-19 outbreak is forcing emergency responders to rethink how they do their jobs. They'll need to start taking more precautions, that's for sure. Allie Levine is in Lakewood and Allie West Metro has already developed a new protocol. So what are they doing? Yeah, Alex, they are completely really changing how they respond to calls that could potentially involve someone who might be affected with COVID-19. And the goal is to slow the spread of the virus. So take a look inside of this ambulance. This is what a typical unit looks like. You can see there are linens and other surfaces in here that could help spread that virus. Now this new protocol is going to leave every unit it to become a potential mobile isolation room. If anybody calls and says I've got difficulty breathing, flu like symptoms, I have a fever, that's going to trigger a separate set of questioning that they're going to go through with the caller. It's triggered the moment someone calls 911. Before West Metro responded to a call with those complaints and not more than the clothes Norwood is wearing. You know, we're walking in just like this. Uh, at a minimum, we have gloves on. Now they'll put on a full body gown, gloves, goggles, and a face mask. We're going to suit up in all our protective equipment. They'll also limit the number of people who come in contact with the patient. If someone does need to be transported, they'll go in an ambulance that looks like this. Um, if they do need to be transported, then we take on new protocols to basically create um, what you see behind me, which is a a mobile isolation room. It's, it's kind of a clean room, if you will. The surfaces are clear, so crews can disinfect them after. A vent creates a negative pressure space. Equipment is bagged and plastic protects the driver from the patient. The idea is to limit exposure and slow the spread of the virus. I'm glad that we're responding uh, quickly, and I think we're responding appropriately, and we'll, we'll just manage it as it comes. A reminder from these health officials is to keep these for healthcare providers and first responders. These are those face masks that the CDC is telling people are not going to stop the spread of the virus or rather prevent you from getting it. They should only be worn by people who are experiencing symptoms. And we also want to note that West Metro in this new protocol change is really limiting the number of people who are going to be providing care to potential Essentially, those people who might be infected with COVID-19 when they're calling in. Back to you in the studio. All right, Ellie, thanks. Great to see that they have a plan to protect us and they're also protecting themselves. Thank you. On Wall Street, investors continue to unload stocks, worried that economic damage from the spreading virus outbreak will be worse than previously thought. Major indexes ended down at least 1% after clawing back much larger losses earlier in the day. The price of oil today plunged 10%, its worst drop in more than five years. In sterile labs across the country and across the world, there's now a race to come up with a vaccine for COVID-19. One of those labs is at Colorado State University. As reporter Chris Vanderveen shows us, the entire process will take some patience.